now. Weather with your First Coast News storm experts, powered by PC Designs. Yes, welcome back and you're looking live at the TTIAA bank where the whole country will be watching Jacksonville and we've got some wonderful weather, some football weather I'm calling it because we've cooled down big time 82 degrees dew points making it feel good once they drop below 70 into the mid 60s. Yes, we get rid of that oppressive humidity. What can we thank a Fall front. We haven't had many of these, have we? So we've got that cold front, what we call a backdoor front because it's coming in from the northeast. So that's why we have that nice fresh breeze out there. We're tracking a few light showers on radar, but the big story with this nor'easter is the temperature change. Notice for the Jaguar weather versus Kansas City, 102.1 degrees. I officially measured that in the stands tonight. You can wear jeans, long sleeves. We're talking 77, but you've got that northeast breeze blowing in at 10 to 20 miles per hour, making it feel much cooler. So just keep that in mind. So our Titans at Jaguars weather, we know we have a nor'easter. We've got the breeze and there will be a fast shower. This is a real quick shower, five minute shower at five and another misty shower by the time we head toward the second quarter, but not lasting long. The big story will be the nice weather and the comfort as DJ Chark will be able to do his thing along with Minshew. And then 11 o'clock, I still have celebrate because I've got good vibes about this game as far as radar really confirming it's not about the rain. We've got this little peppering uh, our future cast putting in there, but it's more about that northeast wind keeping us nice and cool this evening. Here's 830. We pause it here. We said second quarter there could be a quick shower in Duval. Well, not amounting to much less than a tenth of an inch and then moving on as we head into the second half. So as far as rainfall totals less than a tenth of an inch with this nor'easter in the tropics we have Hello, Jerry. Yes, Hurricane Jerry, but this is actually like a running back following Umberto, that little weakness in the high pressure line. All right, so they're just like running backs one after another. The good news is I think a good chance that Jerry spends its life mainly out to sea, but we do have to watch Yes, Bermuda, all the models. Yeah, most of them in good consensus. This will recur between high pressure over us, high pressure to the east. That weakness again created by Umberto. It's amazing how everything's related. We've got some other disturbances, so still very active, but no threats close to home. So make sure you check back close to home. And speaking of home, this is the weekend. We said make those plans on Monday, I believe I said. And here's why high pressure and control. Those fresh breezes continue. In fact, we'll increase the sunshine, keep it cool. And these are the coolest temperatures we've seen since May, mid to upper 60s for lows, high temperatures in the mid 80s. Seven day forecast. There we go. Jaguar Thursday, our first day of fall officially, at least astronomical fall. We'll start to heat back up, but plenty of fall weather in there before then through the weekend.